Welcome to another end of month update. Let's get on with it. February 2020 in review. And we actually have some content to review. What a novel concept. Several shotgun blasts, a liberal crime squad, harkening back to the first series a decade ago. It's on my old way of uploading with, in most cases, the old time limit. And everything I've played thus far is everything you see here. I don't know how I feel about the current fork version of Liberal Crime Squad compared to other versions and other forks, but I'm enjoying myself. Now, Clandestine hasn't had another session yet, but Lethal Feline did get around to uploading his perspective of the asymmetric co-op game. He and I have been too preoccupied to touch base uh, this month. Hopefully we'll get back to it in March with, at least on my end, better volume for the game audio, since the hacker doesn't get subtitles for everything. In other news, I polished off a lingering Might and Magic 7 run uh, from January. That was the joke goal marathon that I did. Hurrah to that. And I also embarked on another Daggerfall adventure. Uh, the Noodle Arm to Flyweight run in Daggerfall Unity is about done. I could have it finished next broadcast. It's not just that it was an easier challenge, but there's not much for me to roleplay there. So it goes. I'm uncertain whether I'll do another Daggerfall run. I think I've covered everything I care to. At least for now. As for what I've broadcasted this month, well, the only content which hasn't been transferred is Co-op Stardew Valley. Take a look here. See those in the way of highlights. My friend Dan and I finished our first farm, a casual romp, while we were waiting for Creative Assembly to fix Three Kingdoms multiplayer. So we started a new run with separate bank accounts and more serious gameplay. My, my grand plan didn't work out as intended, but that's okay because it's Stardew Valley, and we certainly weren't ruined last time when we weren't trying so hard. Anyway, even if I wanted to transfer over that content, it's a hot mess. I, <laughs> he and I have had connectivity issues since Stardew Valley's latest multiplayer patch. I've also had some internet instability issues since a perfluffle... Uh, loss of services with my cable internet service provider uh, earlier this month, too. Um, yeah, still some instabilities there. <laughs> Stardew Valley multiplayer itself, though, did go down for a few hours at one point. That wasn't my fault. And during this last session, we kept desyncing, despite me never dropping frames or uh, losing any, like, service connection with Twitch. And despite him not dropping any frames either. Hopefully that smooths itself out, otherwise we'll have ended up with two games which were patched regrettably. Tangently, I have uh, started making use of YouTube, uh, <laughs> Twitch's collection system to help folks comb through the live stream only series I've done, which is almost entirely my co-op stuff with Dan. Otaku Shao, Dan Taku. I do have this One Finger Death Punch uh, 2 stuff and Mother Gunship. Uh, I was considering doing a like a locally recorded like series of Mother Gunship instead of just transferring that stuff over. I don't know about One Finger Death Punch 2, though. I don't really think that's interesting enough to... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> There's probably a few videos, like an Aerobiz run, which I just don't know how to give its own separate collection. Maybe I'll do a miscellaneous or short bits thing like I have for my YouTube channel. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps folks find that content. While I enjoy watching Twitch archive broadcasts, the, the collection system interface is kind of rough, but at least it does collect it there. So you don't have to go like sifting through like a tidal wave of uh, highlights. On the bright side, it tells me things YouTube used to, like total playlist time length. Imagine that. So, what's coming up next month, March? Uh, truthfully, I don't know. Not beyond what I'm already doing. I haven't played much this month that I haven't recorded or broadcasted. Uh, there's Tom Clancy's The Division 2 that I picked up for $2.99. And some vendors are still offering it for that. I, I played it for a couple of hours. I'm, I'm interested in, in like the game to play more, but I don't see myself recording it. And I certainly don't see myself putting it like like in a broadcast for like broadcasting purposes. Uh, but I've done many things I'd never imagined myself doing, so who knows. Uh, there was Mother Gunship I made mention of. That's, you know, Tower of Guns 2, effectively. Uh, I liked the game, and I could see myself basically starting a new save just to go through the story again. 
And that could be content for this channel. Yeah. Um, there's Terraforming Mars, a video game adaptation of a board game. I got that as a gift. Uh, I'm going to hunker down and try that, uh, maybe Sunday. I'll learn the game, if I like it. Might do a few videos on that. Uh, Blade Runner came out on GOG a couple of months ago. I really like that game. Uh, Lethal, uh, Lethal Feline, recorded a series several years ago on it, uh, where I joined him for co-commentary. Uh, the game got reverse-engineered uh, for, like, a Scumint VM engine-like sort of thing. It seems, like, more stable for modern systems. I'm pretty sure the shooting range is even fixed, and that's swell. Uh, so there's a small possibility I pick that up and record myself going through it. I don't think I'd broadcast that one, but that would certainly be, a, like, a local, local series. Um... Oh, I've, I've been thinking about a challenge run for Might and Magic 7, but I don't know whether I'd commit to going through it to the end. You know... I, uh... This, uh, this live stream run I did, like, made me start thinking about, like, Might and Magic 7 again. I'm like, yeah, I do like this game. And rather than, you know, playing Might and Magic 6, or... trying out and maybe going through Might and Magic 8, or... God forbid, doing that... that mod that combines 6, 7, and 8 together... Uh, yeah, I, I think that'd have to be a live stream thing, too. Uh, even if I went through it to the end. Uh, even though live stream makes me play games worse. I've, I've already done two comprehensive locally recorded runs of Might and Magic 7. I, I don't think there's much more for me to say without bouncing off an audience. Uh, other than all that stuff, though, there is, of course, the old rewarding the rewarders list lurking around in the background. I'll, uh, I can pull something off of, slot in, give it some justice instead of having an incompetent bitch in moan. What about does it for formulated what-ifs? Uh, there's some seeds there. Of course, March may end up being the last month I do this. It's the final month of the time frame I gave myself, the, you know, the seasonal thing. Uh, whether I could find the desire and motivation to tell more stories and keep interacting with you all, let's get on with it. Yeah. Did warn about this. I'm too preoccupied. Uh, too many days spent in ruin. I'd like to think, or I'd like to believe things will be different. Should I continue, I see myself pursuing the same division of stories, local recording and live stream. What would happen less is crossover between the two. Live streams used to be an auxiliary to what I did on YouTube. Now it is very much a separate voice. Uh, <laughs> I look at games and say, that content would be better for me to share locally, or I couldn't carry that title on my own, I need a live audience. It used to be that I would almost always upload a brief announcement video on YouTube for when I'd be streaming. Now I have other mediums, see here, if you're not blinded, to facilitate that role. I don't see the point in announcing content I don't intend to transfer to YouTube. Just man, seems rude, seems inappropriate. Grimoth, why don't you keep transferring everything to YouTube? Because some content I live stream doesn't meet my standards for exporting here. Livestream and local are separate mediums. They are different interactions, they tell different stories, they draw different audiences. I take something like Aerobiz or Shadowrun or Payday 2. I've done plenty with those games. Not all of it needs to be archived here. Grimoth, why don't you make a separate YouTube channel just for stream archives? Because I have no interest in doing so, much like how I never wanted to make a separate channel for, to do role-playing content. So I don't. It's all here and all me. Let's get on with it. And then let's get on with it live. There's some crossover, like a Venn diagram, but they're becoming more and more exclusive. Grimoth, why don't you live broadcast to YouTube? Well, not only would that fail to satisfy how I perceive a story division, but I hate, abhor the YouTube live stream interface. I'd never recommend it to anyone. Absolute trash. Uh, besides, having a separate platform? Not a bad idea. Attracts different audiences and keeps options open should one platform falter, which certainly isn't impossible. <laughs> It's funny, I used to get regular questions about whether I'd be uploading something to YouTube, and I'd give a dismissive snort because I almost always did that, so I didn't understand why I kept getting that question. Now that there's an actual division in my mind, and I've been making that clear to my viewers, I don't get that question. <laughs> I'm going to channel old school Grimoth here, the one who spat fire, the one who so fully embodied the barely checked fury and impatience of his alcoholic father. My time here is short. I started Let's Get On With It to tell stories. It has been my escapism. No longer a hobby, but my fucking anchor. 
It developed, grew, changed, as I have. A vibrant way to connect with others, to either enrich their lives or help them escape from their pains. It happens. I know it, because you tell me. When I was young, I wanted a career in social services, to make a positive impact upon others. And though my dreams fell into ash, this, what I have done here with you all, it filled part of that void, gave me a bit of contentment, of peace. The sort of thing I could tell my dad, and he could call me his hero, because I found a way to exist, because he knew how fragile I was, and he was still parenting me, even while I was caring for him. But don't you ever fucking think I have any expectations, or ever had any expectations of this lasting. This moment is a puff of smoke, gone in a flash. And don't you ever fucking think I expect no demand you to be there. Your time is precious, as is mine. You come and go as you please, much as I have done. And while I can't say you've changed, I know I certainly have. How I speak, how I think, how I game, how I consume. You think I watch everyone I used to? You think I like everyone I used to? Fuck no. How hypocritical it would be to think different of you. This channel creates content I like to see, or, well, I would like if it weren't me. Live commentary, minimal editing, showing the game with all its merits and flaws. Those warts matter to me. That's not indolence. <laughs> No, not with how many times I'll stop and restart a recording, and how many videos of not entire series I've scrapped. That's how I want it to fucking be. Knee deep in the muck, and the person is saying to themselves, Well, this is a fucking train wreck, but that's why we're here, baby. Playing this so you don't have to. As a matter of fact, I edit far less than what I used to. Open broadcaster software gives me the freedom to, to fluctuate and move things around, and I just I don't need like editing software as much as I wanted to have it once upon a time to do the things that I want to accomplish. And for the love of everything, not trying to fucking sell you a product. Here's my title card. Here's my blaringly obnoxious loud music accompanying a 45 second outro where I link you to everything else. Here's my song and dance where I tell you to subscribe and like a comment. No matter whether it's positive or negative and different, I just want to comment to help my search engine optimization so others can find the channel and improve my number wang. Are you fucking kidding me? Go fuck yourself. Is that how the business is? Well, it's a good fucking thing. I've never been here to make a fucking commercial enterprise out of this shit. And if I had been, boy howdy, I'd be a worse failure in life than I already am. Let this be a clear delineation. Where you spend your time isn't my choice. I'm cool with that. Always have been. Do not confuse my efforts to inform you as an attempt to manipulate you. See, how this works is, because viewers come and go, they don't always catch everything you say, so you might need to keep repeating it, much as a sports radio show would repeat the highlights of the day because you might have just hopped in your car, or into the business meeting, or dropped the kids off at school, and you might not know what's up. I know, right? Corporate Grimmoth here. Ta-da! So, when I tell you, say, that I do live broadcasts, much as I have done for years, and that I will continue to do live broadcasts, much as I have done for years, whether it's been on Twitch, or Hitbox, or Beam, and that some content won't get transferred over, but here's where you can find it, I don't actually expect you to go get that content! I expect you to now know where it is. Do you think I do Twitch highlights for views? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's not the highlight system. That's, that's, that's not what it exists for. It's to capture clips. Treasured moments of a stream. Short bursts of dopamine straight into your brain. I've been perverting the entire fucking thing since 2012. That's how far back these highlights go on my Twitch channel. And they're all there for viewer convenience. Even if they're never made use of. Even if there isn't a single view there. Because it's, it's that's just what it is. It's a convenience. Now, it might not actually be that convenient for you. Not everyone is able to watch Twitch that well. Server issues, user interface issues, I get it. Like, I, I personally enjoy, like, if the content's on Twitch and the content's on YouTube, I prefer to watch it on Twitch. Uh, just because of how I like the Twitch player compared to the YouTube player. Um, yeah, but I, I get it. Uh, will I do anything about that for content that is stream exclusive? No. For the reasons that have already been discussed. And on a final point about expectations, I, I don't expect you to agree. I, I never have. Uh, but I do expect you to go fuck yourself if you misunderstand and come at me because of it.
The end. Man, old school Corvus ran out of steam right there. <laughs> Can't get as hard, too mess a turgid, or whatever the fuck as I used to as forceful. Oh well. Let's transition fully into Corvus Griffith and talk about money. I have membership levels on the Patreon, including an update video insult category, uh, which is not really an insult so much as like me giving you a shout out. We all acknowledge this to be true. I could do this at the end of every video I do. Imagine that instead of just putting in an update video. Here's where I'd like to thank all the people that gave me money. Ha! Ah, you shouldn't be celebrated for that, really. <laughs> Like, this thing has existed much as other things have existed for Let's Get All That because viewers have bludgeoned me and badgered me, and I've been like, fine, fuck it. In this particular circumstance, if you want to, like, give me charity, <laughs> if you want to tip me for my services, fuck it. Who am I to tell you now, right? Like, go for it. Just fucking just throw the money at me. Woo! Service industry to big. Ah! Great. Fucking. You damn fools. So, yeah. I have a category where I give folks their shout-out, and that consists as follows. Applejack, Zachary McKinley, Longshot137, Mog, Tiny Shopkeeper, Perpentock, Necrolotu, Cast Iron Dude, Kaelin, Petero, Nick King, Proxabang. Your contributions, along with everyone else's, have been uh, put entirely in medical expenses. Thanks. That about does it. I'll talk to you folks. Well, if you don't join me for any of the other content I create, at the very least, we're going to have a 10-year anniversary. That's coming up. March 5th, 2020. Oh my goodness. Of course, the, the, the YouTube channel was created on March 18th. That's because of the transition from Daily Motion to YouTube, because viewers were having trouble watching me on Daily Motion, so we came over here. And the first series I ever uploaded on here was, uh, was Sarzu. And then uh, I decided to transfer over the, the Liberal Crime Squad stuff that I was already doing. And that's that story. You can see there that I have that miscellaneous playlist. You'll also see that short bits playlist as well. Odds and ends. I have never, like, put every single odd and end in this. Or every single miscellaneous video in the miscellaneous category. Or... Every single, um, like, once upon a time I used to, uh, like, mother over, like, shepherd over, like, a playlist that covered, like, guest commentary for series that didn't, like, have, like, their own playlists. Oh, man. Look at how youthful I was, how vibrant, how vigorous. My word. Once upon a time. Ah. <laughs> oh. How my desktop used to look a decade ago. Good times. Good times indeed. Now I barely fucking look at the desktop. Really no need. Look at it every now and then like, wow, that's how it looks. Great. I'm out of here though. That's our update. Talk to you all later. Yeah, probably later. Maybe never, but probably later. Take it easy. Take care. Relax. Invest your time in well, whatever continues to satisfy you. Hopefully you keep finding that satisfaction. If you don't, well, the fuck are you still doing here? Not trying to, like, psychoanalyze you. I, I just, just don't want to go.